Denmark is one of the safest countries in the whole world. So we're going to take a night walk here in Copenhagen to see how safe it really is. Today's video starts here at Newhound. Newhound means New Harbour and the harbour here in Copenhagen is pretty much the heart of the city. This street along the harbour has so many bars and restaurants. It's currently 9pm and there's so many people still eating and drinking here. Right here is where you can take a canal tour. It's one of the most popular things to do as a tourist here in Copenhagen. This video is going to end at the number one place to go in Copenhagen. Right next to the harbour is the square Kongens Nighthawk. And this hotel, the Hotel de Angela Tere, is the most exclusive, expensive hotel in the whole of Denmark. Some of the famous people that have stayed here, Michael Jackson, Michelle Obama, Bill Clinton, and Justin Bieber. And also across the square is where you can see the Danish opera and ballet. This street is called Stroge. It's the number one shopping street in the whole of Copenhagen. It's about two miles long and at the end of it is the number one thing to do in Copenhagen. So let's take a walk. This street has all of the high-end stores. So if you want to spend some money in Copenhagen, then comes to Stroge. This is Ilum. I'm told this is the most exclusive, expensive department store in the whole of Denmark. They are very practical here in Denmark because this fountain has storks. So guess what it's called? The Stork Fountain. And they do that a lot here that I've noticed because the, we started the video in the new harbour because it's the newest harbour. I definitely do feel very very safe here and I heard a fun fact today about Denmark. The Denmark population is 5.8 million but there's 15 million bikes in Denmark. If you do visit here you'll have absolutely no problem with communication because I think people speak better English here than many places in England. But be warned because Copenhagen is extremely expensive, very, very expensive. But if you're new around here, hit the subscribe because in the next few weeks, we're going to visit the whole of Scandinavia. And I'm very interested to compare them. Like how is Denmark different from Sweden, from Norway? So at the moment, I don't have a plan. It's just an idea. So I don't know where I'm going to be next. So you're going to have to tune in every single day because I know for a fact that tomorrow is going to be my last day here in Denmark. But I don't know where I'm going next. We have made it to the City Hall Square. This is about one mile along the Strogras Street. I have no idea, by the way, I have no idea if I'm saying it right, Stroge, Stroga, no idea. So this huge building is pretty funny because I've learned recently that the Danish do have a sense of humor. So this side of the building faces south, that's where the sun is. So everything good happens in this side of the building. So anything related to marriage or birth happens here. And the left side, everything related to death and taxes happens in this side of the building. And just to the side of this building, this statue here, this guy's name is Carls. Can you see the relation? Carlsberg, Carlsberg beer. Would you believe me if I said one of the main attractions in America, in the US, was influenced, very, very highly influenced by something right here in Copenhagen. This place right behind me is called Toverly. This is the number one place to visit in the whole of Denmark. And about a hundred years ago, an American guy came here and he visited this amusement park and he took some ideas from there and he went home to the US and he built his own amusement park. Do you know what that is? Of course, I'm talking about Walt Disney and Disneyland. So he visited here and he absolutely loved it. So he took some ideas that he saw at Toverly. He went back and he started to plan Disneyland, but he didn't stop there because he visited Toverly 11 more times and took some more ideas, went back and put them into Disneyland. So this place right here 
Tovoli in Copenhagen, Denmark influenced Disneyland. Tovoli is also very special because it's the second oldest amusement park in the whole world. Do you know where the first oldest amusement park in the whole world is? It's also in Denmark. It's called Barken or Berken. I'm not too sure how to say it, but it's very, very close to Copenhagen. So the first oldest and the second oldest amusement parks in the whole world are right here in Denmark, very close to Copenhagen. But how amazing is that? Totally influenced Walt Disney so much that he went home and he used so many ideas in Disneyland, which of course became Disney World. And now there are so many Disney things all over the world. So, you could say that it started right here. Tickets to get inside Tovoli start at around 20 euros, so it's not too expensive. And then inside there's so many rides and roller coasters, attractions, restaurants. If you wanna get tickets and go to getyourguide.com, you can get a great deal on tickets and also ride tickets as well. Whichever city you are in, Get Your Guide has something for you. So hit the link in the description to get so many good prices all over the world. And it's open until super late. It's almost 10 p.m. now and I can still hear people screaming inside. So now you know if anybody asks you where the two oldest amusement parks in the world are, they're right here in Denmark. I've been told that every Friday night at Tivoli is rock and roll night. And also the best time to visit is Christmas time because the whole place is decorated. I can still hear the screams from people on the right, but we're gonna head back into the city. There's so many tourists in Copenhagen right now. I've heard a lot of Spanish, so many Americans, but Danish is so difficult to understand. It doesn't even sound like real words. Maybe the most dangerous thing in Copenhagen is the bikes. They are crazy, they go so fast, they don't stop. Watch out for the bikes. You can't see it right now, but just behind me, this is Christiansborg Palace. This is where the royal family used to live, but this is now the Prime Minister of Denmark's office. When the Prime Minister moved in, the royal family moved out. Hopefully you can see a little bit better, but I'm currently in the courtyard. So like I said, the uh, Prime Minister moved in, the royal family moved out. And the reason is the Queen didn't want so many people around her residence, which is understandable. And when I say she didn't want people around her residence, I mean government people. If you visit Copenhagen, you'll notice that everything is named after Frederick and Christian. That's because before the queen now, so the queen now is Queen Marguerite, and before that, every single king was called Frederick or Christian for like hundreds of years. Another fun fact about Queen Marguerite of Denmark is she is now the longest reigning monarch in the world, but that is only because Queen Elizabeth is no longer Queen of England. The streets are pretty empty at this time. We're heading towards the harbor again, but not many people. I do have another fun fact about Denmark. They don't have euros, the money, they don't use euros. And the reason is when they brought in the euros and all the other countries were taking the euros, they had a referendum here in Denmark and the Danish people voted, let's keep one thing Danish. So they kept the crowns. I am back on New Hound now. It's 10 p.m. There's still people drinking and having dinner, but the video is going to end right here. Thank you for watching another video here from Denmark. Tune in tomorrow because I think I'm going to do a canal cruise. So hit the like, hit the subscribe, and see you next time. Bye bye.